Children from hard places need parents who feel equipped to help them heal and grow no matter what. That takes preparation, education, support, and the services families need when they need them. In partnership with eight sites, the National Quality Improvement Center for Adoption and Guardianship Support and Preservation tested promising practices and evidence-based models of support and intervention along a continuum. Eight interventions in five intervals, each focusing on a different level of risk. Together, the intervals represent the needs a family may encounter along the lifelong journey of adoption or guardianship. Catawba County, North Carolina, selected indicated services for its intervention. Introducing Reach for Success. This is Catawba County, North Carolina, named for the Catawba River in the western part of the Tar Heel State, at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, where families formed by adoption are finding the support they need to reach for success. The Quick AG intervention in Catawba County is called Reach for Success, and it's an early outreach program designed to um, find families who we think may have heightened risk of post-permanency discontinuity. For this project, we're reaching out to, to children whose families receive subsidies. So that means that they were adopted out of the foster care system. Children who experience foster care have experienced a number of things, possibly abuse, neglect, which could cause them to have difficulties later on in life. Catawba County has a long history of providing post-adoption services through their success coach model. A success coach is an enhanced case manager. They work with families to build skills and reduce risk. Some families call us and they're ready to call it quits, but I think that when we're with families or we're working with families one-on-one, -on -one, that's the first thing is to say, you know what, it's typical to feel this way. It's okay to feel this way. It sounds like you've been working really hard and it sounds like you've done everything you think you can. Can we come alongside you and can we help walk you through this? Success Coach services are available at no cost to any family in Catawba County formed through adoption, including inter-country and private domestic adoptions. But there was concern among the staff there, among stakeholders, that perhaps there were some families who could benefit from the services but didn't know about them. We thought, well, how do we know that families know about these services or that they need these services or that the families who need these services are the ones who know about these services? And so the idea in the Catawba study is we conducted a survey of all families who are currently receiving an adoption subsidy in the county and have not received success coach services in the past. Reach for Success falls in the indicated interval in the post-permanency um, framework. Indicated prevention efforts target families who request assistance to address an issue that has arisen after permanence has been achieved, but before the family is in crisis. The survey really is a comprehensive look at how the family and child are functioning, and that means on many different levels. It really looks at educational needs for the child, um, behavioral problems or behavioral issues that they may be experiencing with the child. Does the child have a medical condition that impacts the family? Do the parents feel connected to the child? Do they feel like they're equipped to parent the child and what the child brings to the family? Tell us what it's like to parent them. Um, what, what challenges are you experiencing? What is your child doing well? Those kinds of things. Reach for Success was conducted in two phases. First, Catawba County Social Services mailed a survey to cohorts of 50 families at a time with a return envelope and a $5 gift card. Two weeks later, those families received a reminder letter. Families that completed the survey sent it off to the Survey Research Laboratory at University of Illinois and collected a $25 gift card. Five weeks after the initial mailing, non-responders got a second packet, just like the first one, and one last chance to fill out the survey. Those who still didn't respond got a follow-up phone call from Catawba County to help the team gather information about why some families didn't complete the survey. Using an algorithm devised just for the Reach for Success intervention, the evaluation team identified those families whose responses suggested unmet service needs or challenging child behaviors. These families were randomized into two groups, a comparison group 
families designated to receive services as usual, and an intervention group, families who would be offered the Reach for Success intervention. In phase two, families that were randomized into the intervention group received a personal call from a Catawba County success coach offering success coach services. So the research question is, will families who receive this Reach for Success intervention, so the survey and the subsequent outreach to see if they want services, will families who receive the intervention use success coach services more than families who don't receive the additional outreach for services. The intervention here is a combination between the survey and the early outreach. John and Kara Helton were among the Catawba County families selected to receive the Reach for Success intervention. Today is Family Fun Day, an annual event just for Catawba County families formed through adoption. This day is extra special for the Heltons because it's also the anniversary of the day the adoption of their daughter Kaylee was finalized, just a few days before the birth of their son, Gray. But Kara first met Kaylee several years earlier, when she was just 14 days old, in withdrawal from the drug she'd been exposed to in utero. Kara was the family's visiting nurse. There was a connection from the start. I distinctly remember when I would walk into the house, she would light up and she would smile. Um, and there was something about Kaylee. She, I had lots of kids on my caseload, but there was something about Kaylee that I just was gravitated towards. And that's something I still remember. When Kaylee was placed in DSS custody at 14 months old, John and Kara agreed to become her foster parents. She came right to me at DSS when we picked her up, she came right to me, even though it had been six months. When Kaylee's birth parents relinquished their parental rights, the Heltons joyfully adopted her. Soon they were the family of four that John and Kara had dreamed of. Kaylee was safe and loved and right where she belonged. Still, the developmental trauma of her early life had an impact. When Kaylee turned four, that's when we started noticing anxiety, and that's when we started with really heavy behavioral problems. To get the help they needed, John and Kara chose to ask their pediatrician for referrals rather than reach out to Catawba County for services. We just wanted a break. We were tired of people being in our home and we wanted to figure things out ourselves and be a family unit uh, without the watchful eye, so to speak. Not that they were judging, but just there was always someone in our home. So we did it our way for two years, almost three. So three years we had muddled through it and we're seeking services on our own. Reach for Success was designed to identify families like the Heltons, families that are eligible for a success coach, but for a variety of reasons are not receiving services. We really wanna make sure that families know about the service, particularly those families who have adopted a while ago when the service wasn't available. We wanted to see if we could increase our uptake in our service and if we could um, make sure that we could reach not just the families that already know about us, but the families that don't. And what we found was there were still families that had no idea who we were, what we did. And then reaching out to those families to see if they'll take services prior to it being a last resort, I don't know what else to do kind of situation. If we reach out to them early, will they take services early? Or do families really just want services at the point in which they are in crisis? I received a survey in the mail, all sorts of questions about adoption. Um, and there was a cover letter saying, please fill this out and you know, see, there was a $25 gift card if you filled it out. So I thought, well, sure, I'll fill it out. So I did. I thought, wow, they are asking really raw and really vulnerable questions, but questions that needed to be asked. Um, I thought it was a really clear insight. I liked the questions and I was glad that I could answer positively. The Helton survey landed in the intervention group. Success coaches are notified of the families that have been randomized to their caseloads. 
they call the family, try to set up a home visit with that family and let them know a little bit more about the Success Coach program. And then Kelly, our Success Coach, called to follow up. When Kara and I connected via phone after she had filled out the survey, um, the top um, need that she had was mental health um, services for Kaylee. She kind of explained the program and said, if you're interested, I can come out to your home and tell you more about it. And so I said, sure, you know, sure, I'll be glad to hear more about it. So she came out and then we were already, my brain's headed towards counseling because Kaylee's very high anxiety and the two counselors we had seen just was not working. And so I thought maybe she knows someone that is suited for adoption and, you know, more well suited. And so that, that kind of got the ball rolling. That was one of the things that I shared with her, that we have tact trained therapists and um, that that is something that we could help them with, um, that it wouldn't just be a regular counselor. I mean, there's always that hesitation when DSS comes into your house, monthly visits, you know, it's kind of that, oh, here we go again. Yeah. But what Kelly does as a success coach is she comes in and gets to know us and assesses our needs. It's more laid back environment. She comes in, uh, we usually have a meal together. Mm -hmm. So we eat together, we discuss, play a game. It's that kind of environment and feel to it. Because what happens with the Success Coach program is you begin to do life with your families. I feel like no matter the age of the child, um, certain phases in their development is going to trigger problems, for lack of a better word, and you can muddle through it yourself, but I feel like having the support, there's just, there's going to be challenges that creep in, and so having the support of someone else who can look in at your family and say, well, I'm observing this, what about this, have you thought about this, it gives you a new perspective. Someone to call, someone to bounce something off of, someone to give them praise when they do something really well. Kelly's been wonderful um, with helping us set up services and we're in a, with a good counselor now um, that's really reaching Kaylee and doing some new things with Kaylee that for the first time I feel pretty hopeful that we're gonna get past this barrier of anxiety and kind of get to the root of things. It's just multi-layered support and it also empowers the families um, to learn how to do some of it on their own so that when they do get to a point where they close successfully, the family knows how to go about doing that and they've been connected with other um, community resources and professionals so that their support network has only grown from having success coach services. As families continue to grow and develop, other needs may arise. Sometimes the needs go on too long without the family receiving the help that they need. And so sometimes they're at the point of crisis. Every child is different, every family is different. There's going to be challenges that creep in. We want to make sure that they feel comfortable reaching out for help and support if they need it. We're there to support the whole family so that the family builds resilience together. We believe that reaching out to families earlier on, that we can help them and we can mitigate those needs right then and there and um, families will get the help that they need before the crisis occurs. And just having just really healthy, happy kids. And that's really the intervention here.